Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Graham Everett after well, a busy week, a very busy week with the halls last weekend yeah. and then Ryan this weekend. So yeah, there's um, strange how things come together in seven days or eight days, but it's months and in, you know in a lot of the cases there's years and years of hard work um, know, with, we'll every, with every from top to bottom. We'll start with sort of the halls and uh, how all the lads sort of put in a good effort there. Yeah. Um, I believe, you know, I, I genuinely think that's one of the best small hall shows that, that, that have been done in Norwich. There was something of everything, um, apart from probably a KO. But I mean, you know, like Sam's fight was very good, Joe's fight was very good, and and I think what started the night well was um, Craig Poxton and Michael Stewart. It's it a crack and fight, wasn't it, at the start of the evening, evening off. So um, it's sometimes a little bit of luck with matchmaking, you know, to gel them yeah. together. Um, but like with Joe's and Sam's and um, and Craig's, they were all all matched for them reasons, and and you know Sam didn't have an easy one back. Um, that will tell him where he is and what he wants to do. Uh, he's out again in eight weeks, so it's two fights back, two good warm ups, and uh, and we'll see where we are with Sam. Um, touching on Craig's fight, obviously it's his first one back after sort of hand surgery. Yeah. Uh, where do we see him going from there, sort of on? Well, he'll be he'll be boxing again in eight weeks. As the main thing now, we, we've got the promotion going with Mervyn Turner, um, Shamrock Promotions. The main thing is is that you know we keep these boys active and 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 look to go on to titles. Hopefully, we can put the titles on. If not, we'll move them on to a bigger show. That that's the way we're working, and that's it's, it's working well for everybody. Everybody who's turning professionally locally with us um, are getting an opportunity with their career. So it's the toughest sport there is. And at least if you know, it's all obviously all down to selling tickets and stuff, but it gives everybody a chance, a chance in their career. You know, they're going to get found out if they can't fight, so you can't molly coddle them too much, but just give them a chance. Um, Billy, sort of back now with a win. Yeah, Again, yeah. another one that, like you say, he's come, he's boxing out of the area and he's still doing really well, so yeah, the, the yeah. opportunities have got us. Got to come eventually. Well, Billy's now in that position, but it's you know you've got to remember Billy had no amateur experience. He's, he's young. He's 22. Let's say you know there is there was a lot of work to do with him, changing style defensively, etc. Although it's you know it's, it's sometimes it's a good grounding off the uh, unlicensed circuit, but also they do miss a little bit of the basics of you know what you'd say you'd get down here with Norwich City ABC and all the amateur gyms. You do get quality footwork uh, and. You know that that can that can save us a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, Billy Billy's Billy's there and Billy's ready, isn't he? You know, we're yeah. we're boxing again before Christmas. Everybody's out again, um, and you know when you're 12, 13 fights in, you're there for an area title, you're there for an English title. So we just see what comes out in the wash and see what we can put on. You know, me and Mervyn are working hard to try and do it from home. I think the shows are getting bigger and better, definitely. and definitely good quality. And um, you know, everybody who came last time there was a lot of first timers come last time, and they couldn't, you know, they really, really enjoyed it. The feedback from the whole show was really very good. Obviously, on that show as well, you touched on sort of the unlicensed boxing. Safer Morris comes from the unlicensed scene locally. Well, unfortunately, yeah, he, he picked up a draw. Um, he got a draw. You know, the, the things like this happen in in boxing. It, I believe he won by three rounds to one, but you know that's the uh, you, you know we're not in control of that. You know mm -hmm. that's 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 personal choice. It's it's uh, it, you know you could say it's human error or whatever you say, but he hasn't lost. Um, it's a setback. He was bitterly disappointed, but it's nothing he can't put right. And it's all part of the learning game. You know, sometimes things are learnt with a draw. Sometimes things are learnt with a defeat. You know, you've only got to look at. John, John Thaxon though, he's come back from defeats in, in his career and and come back a lot better fighter for it. You know, so hopefully instead of maybe should we say if you if you if you think you're winning, make sure you win. Yeah. You know, push when you hear that last was something we work on in this gym really well from last thirty seconds, you get that bang, let's push, finish that round strong, you know, just, that's something you've got to take into the actual fight itself as well. Just don't leave it to doubt. Joe Hearn definitely didn't leave it to doubt on the night. No, well, um, his opponent was every, the toughest stuff it had. Everything I said about Joe is is coming true. You know, he's just, he's back in the gym two days later. 
he was he had sore hands and sore body for effort to try and knock that lad out. <laughs> but to be honest, I, I I did believe that um, that guy is probably the strongest opponent he could have possibly had Definitely. at that stage in his career. You know, I've watched him box. I watched him box two weeks earlier against a, a top Scottish pros prospect who's gone gone pro. Um, and he fiddled him round easy, you know. Joe gave him a far harder time than than, than he did, you know. And Joe, Joe's such a such a rough handful. But you know, we're working hard on trying to get to work behind the jab. You know, you hear a lot yeah. of a lot of the crowd shouting, "Use your jab, use your jab." Well, if they think we don't say that yeah. as well, but Joe just wants to get in and destroy. That's 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 what he is. Yeah. You know, he's he's um, he's an out and out aggressive machine. And if we can add the boxing skills to that, I mean. Like I say, Russell Smith's done a grand job with him, and he's back over here sparring this weekend. And you know, we we'll just um, look to the next stage. There should be some big news on on uh, Joe in the next week. Brilliant. Um, obviously, we've touched on Sam a little bit. Yeah. Um, it was one of them performances that you'd sort of expect after being laid up for so long. Yeah. But well, it shows signs of what Sam is all about. Yeah. Um, well, the thing is, he got him. He got involved in a fight, and he had a fight, and he came up a fight victorious. Yes. So. You know, he took some heavy shots, more than he wanted to. But at the end of the day, that still tells you. you get, remember, like I said, he's a he's, he's a championship fighter. That, that will that tells him whether he's got the desire to carry on. He needed that. He could have had an easier job and a two round blowout. That doesn't do him or anybody any good. Gives him a little bit of confidence, maybe. But you know, he's he's not messing about. He's come back, and if he don't feel comfortable, he'll call it a day. But you know, he just said he enjoyed that fight. Um, he's boxing again in seven, eight weeks, which so is pleased with that. And then we'll see where we are. Two quick warm-ups, and he, he's ready. Back in. Mm. Touching on sort of the British scene now, um, we've yeah. got another British champion at the Kickstop Gym. Yeah, uh, Ryan Walsh. And rightly so. So uh, no, no, more, no more than that young man deserves. How did you see it go on the night? Well, to be honest with you, after Ryan Walsh some time ago boxed Ryan Clark. I had him winning that fight so easy, and he got a draw. So you can never, never really, really trust. You know, it's, it's, it depends what people see. You know, yeah. I watched the fight uh, last night with commentary, and and I just thought the commentary was ridiculously biased. It was just everything he was doing. There's great work by Samir, and they landed on his gloves, and you can clearly see it. And on the night, you know, ringside position, he's missing a lot. You know, he's, he's 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 boxing on the move. He's he's working his jab. Not saying that Samir didn't box well. He did box well. He's a very awkward, um, clever, quality boxer. But you know, Ryan had all the aggression. Ryan had the more um, powerful shots, and he made the fight. You yeah. know, without Ryan, there wouldn't have been a fight the other night. You know, yeah. he's, and and as for the holding on, you know, I, Ian John Lewis, a great referee, but I do think he should have pulled him up a couple of times with. Uh, you know, he should have got points deducted. And you know, as you see, one judge had it a landslide. I, I, I personally, on the night, had Ryan three or four rounds ahead. You know, watching it back, I don't really see any different to that. No. You know, I just, I, just, you know, but whatever it is, and whatever people think, he is the champion yeah. now. That's, that's that's it. Yeah. You know, he is, he is the champion. There's no discrepancies. It's, it's, it's in the record books. And Ryan Walsh is more than happy to give him another, uh, give him a rematch. That's that's the first thing he said. And he's a man of his word, and if that's what they want to do, if that's what the promoters want to do, then that's what will happen. Um, touching on the rematch, uh, there's been rumours that Frank Warren would like to stage a show in Norwich. Uh, do, is there anything you can enlighten us with for that? Or? Well, of course, that would be great. I mean, we, we haven't had big time boxing for, for, for a long time. We've worked very hard on the small hall shows, um, as you know, but uh, the days of Herbie over the, the you know Herbie and John yeah. over at the Sports Village and and then later on John uh, headlining up the showground. I mean if they're happy to come to the showground, you can put a great fight on there. You know you get three thousand live audience, which is a good crowd nowadays. There's probably as many as what were at Wembley the yeah. other night. You yeah. know, um, and you couldn't ask for more. It'd be great for everybody. But let's let's see. I mean there's Stan Frank. He's the promoter. He's that's. You know, that's, that's down to him, but he, he did seem quite upbeat the other night about the situation. So boxing in Norwich, the next show is... Yeah, it should be announced this week, but I think this is going to be late November. Um, Mervyn will make an official announcement this week.
but like I say, the feedback from that was great. Um, we don't want to go right into Christmas because obviously people are busy and, and stuff like that. And there's talk of a big, there's two massive shows in London at, at Christmas time, isn't there? There's the 12th, yeah. and there's rumours there's the 19th of December now as well. Yeah. Um, so you know, with Andy Lee and Billy, and Joe. Billy Joe. So if that's if that's the case, then they're two big shows, and we don't want to be clashing with them. Um, but we also want to keep our lads busy, you, you know. So uh, late November will be, you know, you'll be one of the first to know, I'm sure. Yeah. But we're looking at late November, and um, everybody's back in the gym, full on training, ready to go. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Graham, and uh, I'll catch up with you when dates are announced, and yeah, we'll lovely. see where we go from there. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you very much.